under the sands of the great desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient star ship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara, our home. I'm James, and welcome to Homeworld 1 Remastered. The clans were united, and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people. Every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. Scaffold control standing by. All stations green. You're cleared to approach. You got it. Base 8, 9, and 10 sealed. Scaffold decks A, B, C secure. Decks D and E secure. Scaffold secure. All systems green. Release crew standing by. What a beautiful sight. This is Fleet Command. Reporting mothership relaunch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. The mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away.
Stand by for command line testing. Command line green. Initial fleet in position. Course deleted. Okay, so... Standing by. Hello. Fleet intelligence going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. At ease. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. Okay, so. Um, hi everybody. It's me. I'm back. Woo! So, um, what's going on is basically sort of, um, getting a bit hyped up because Sid, uh, Sid Meier's Starships comes out soon. So I thought I'd play really? Homeworld Remastered, which um, came out not too long ago actually, I think but something like 10 days ago. So yeah, just um, enjoying the feel of things, getting sort of um, more used to the idea of um, blah, 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 of um, just sort of, you know, combat in space. Admittedly it'll be a bit different because Sid Meier's it's turn based, um, whereas with this it's RTS which is real-time strategy, in case you don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, admittedly, this is training for training for Civilization. Because what's going on is basically, um, I play Civilization with a couple of guys. Where you've, I've put out one video, but unfortunately I lost footage of that. So, I'll be, we're hoping to basically do another one at some point, a full game, and that can fully go out. Um, yeah. And basically, but what I've discovered is whilst I'm good at a fair amount of it, I'm not so good at the war bit because it's a question of time and making those snap decisions. So I'm getting into a few RTS so that I can quickly sort of learn to read situations in war and quickly react to it. Because obviously, there's sort of when it's a real time strategy, you've got people charging at you. You've got to quickly go, shit, these people are charging at me. I don't want them to charge at me. I want them to charge at them. And sort of reposition yourselves and sort of move you around and do particular... And, you know, you've got to constantly reevaluate and change your strategy and click very fast. You've got to do it all a lot more quickly. So, yeah, I started playing some RTS to sort of hone in on that aspect, hoping that some of it, the skills will be transferable towards Civilization Five whenever I go to war with people. And, um... Roger. Yeah. So that's the plan. But unfortunately, like, I've started a bit on, um, I've been playing a bit of Attila Total War. But that's not been going very well because I'm basically stuck at a, um, I'm stuck at the end of the prologue. And to my knowledge, you got, you've got to do the prologue first. And the prologue is just a bit annoying because it's this historical battle I've got to do, the Battle of Adrianapolis. And I suck at it, basically. I, I, I suck. So, um, yeah. Playing a bit of this, seeing how it goes. So, uh, let's, let's get into it then. Let's get going. I hope you enjoy. Um, please feel to, free to comment. Please comment and stuff. And that I'm still getting used to the... Strike group coordinates locked in. Yeah, one thing I have been struggling to get used to is the... Because obviously this is 3D because it's in space. Is the... Oh! There they are. But yeah. So Strike let's group. try it. Let's get going. I'm trying to remember. Let's see how this goes. I've, I did a bit of a tutorial before um, to sort of try and get used to some of the controls so there's a bit less confusion.
I'm going to have to turn down explosions, I can tell. Like good people, they are returning to their shoot formation. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. I swear that guy sounds like Morgan Freeman. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly uh, F10. I think it's the yeah options. Come on, that's better. Audio sound effects is going down. Can I not take it any lower? There we go. Likewise, this is going lower. It's just. A bit annoying when I can't actually hear myself think. So let's see if that's enough. Okay, so this lot ready. It's going over there. Strike group coordinates locked in. So yeah, sorry if the camera angles aren't particularly good. Oh, we've got a strike group to battle positions. Attack. Attack! So I've got them in. I'm gonna have them in aggressive. Weapon set to full power. Aggressive. Against these things, it should really be aggressive. You don't really need to defend against target drones. That's literally what the drones look like. I'm gonna try and go in now as this sort of oh no, they're loop looping back. So that's literally what they look like. That's all them. Ready for orders. Okay, you know what? Let's turn it right down because it's cool to see the explosions and that, but damn it, I need to be able to hear myself. Have a little bit there. I think we'll keep speech and UI up. Because kind of need to be able to hear what they're telling me. But that's it. Standing by. Tactics trial complete. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. Okay. I'm gonna take these guys a bit closer. Dock order confirmed. No, I didn't tell you to dock. Strike group coordinates locked in. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. That's that's another, another ship. ship. Build. You said build a. Uh, Salvage Corvette, I think it was. Assembly underway. Let's do that. I kind of want to build these, but I'm not sure I'm, if it wants me to yet. I'm gonna sort of. I'm gonna wait and see what it tells me to do because sometimes they tell you to do things, they don't tell you to do things, and they basically the game gets a bit iffy if um you do things in the wrong order. So I'm gonna be a good person and do what I'm told. What is this? That's the mothership. That's the resource collector. Ready. Can you go in resources? Resources locked in. I love how I say, yeah, I'm going to do exactly what I'm told. Not touch anything. Salvage five, Corvette complete. Five seconds later, I'm going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
Yeah. What can I say? I'm just that much of a badass. Oh, I see the Savage Corvette. It's coming out that way. Confirmed. Hello, Savage Corvette. Salvage. Right, it wanted me to take you over here. Moving to destination. Destination. Let's see if we can zoom in on this guy. Not much, really. There we go, we can watch him fly through space. So, Salvage and Capture is the name of his game. Let's see if I can get it right. So, oh. Nope. What is... Oh shit, no, that's not... I had it, I had it. There we go. Salvage capture. As a Salvage Corvette, you are to salvage and capture. So literally, oh I see, it grabs it between the clamps. Local resources exhausted fleet. Moving on. Oh, we moving with the ship. Ah, I see. So somehow I managed to get zoomed in enough that it would, we're just following it. That's pretty cool. Oh, I see. Look, that's a. There's a lot of detail going into this. It's quite impressive. I mean, they have spent literally because Homeworld One and Homeworld Two bit were things before. I mean, like they're they're not new games. This is just the remastering of it. Basically, they've they've gone and they've basically sort of they've improved the audio, they've improved the visual, they've sort of changed some of the speech around, and they've sort of changed a bit of the game engine, made it more sort of up to date. So it basically runs like a game that is a new game of this year and the result is this ladies and gentlemen where which seems to be running pretty smoothly I mean I don't really have a powerful this laptop isn't particularly powerful me being a student I can't afford much um, but you know it's decent it, it does It does what it needs to, and you know, it's able to really do well with this. So, I think really they just sort of want us to capture the drone using a salvage. I've done that. So, what's it want me to do now? Let's see what recall says. Next try, we'll test if, uh, build one and capture the target drone here. Have we mucked up? Confirmed. <laughs> You're confirming we've mic'd up. I don't know what I'm doing. Course set. Let's see. Is there any, like... There's no waypoints in the strategic map. Let's... Mothership. Does it want me to move out? Mothership. Let's try. Stop for time. You can actually scuttle it. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. What am I supposed to do? Uh, let's try getting you there. Copy. You are. You are scouts. Okay. Control one. Group one designated. I want you to. I beat those drones with scouts. Okay. Green line confirmed. Waypoint confirmed. Waypoint confirmed. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. Okay. Is that literally just one scout on its own? 
Oh, shit. Group one. En route. Oh, shit, no, I meant for you guys all to be group one. Group one, reinforced. Strike group moving into position. Uh, let's try and figure out what's going on here because it should not be. <laughs> this should not be. Uh, I'd be very surprised if this is the end of single player now that I've defeated a few drones. I mean, it said. Oh, where have I gone? Where have I gone? This is a, this is the only issue I've had really. It's orientating myself with the map. Do I need to build another thing? Mothership. Let, let's get the build menu up. Assembly underway. Uh, long range scanning. Construction underway. Let's try that. Is there anything we can research? Mothership. Probe complete. Okay, we've got a probe which can like probe stuff. Um. Births are clear. I didn't really want another scout by well. Let's try and build another Assembly one. Assembly underway. Scout complete. Okay, right. Well, let's get rid of that money. Dutch ships auto yes yeah, on auto launch. 